Hey guys, this is Vito Gunhilder. In this 3 minute tactics video, we'll be going over the concept of minimum sized units, or MSUs, and bulk units. What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? In other words, when should you choose to keep a regiment small, and when should it be big? Let's begin with MSUs. In Conquest, MSUs are a regiment taken at the standard 3 stance. If the regiment has additional command models, including standard bearers, it's a kitted MSU. If it doesn't have that, then we'll call it a naked MSU. Minimum sized units are a frankly overpowered tool in the right hands. The safest way to use them is to capture and hold objective zones or target objective markers. A more advanced use for them is to function as speed bumps to slow down the foe's push, and scouts to buy board space. Their primary weakness is that they won't last long when in combat, usually. Light and medium class regiments tend to fall victim to this, but heavy class regiments tend to be in MSU for points efficiency and to minimize their footprint. These are sent through the flanks to sweep from the side and into the center. Next are bulk units. In Conquest, bulk units are regiments that have purchased additional stands beyond the standard 3 stand initial cost of the regiment. This is the primary contrasting element between MSUs and bulk. Bulk regiments rarely enter the game without investing in extra command models to hopefully increase their effectiveness. Bulk units are another powerful tool but probably leans more towards advanced tactics. Outside of list building, their primary weakness on the board is that their footprint is at least 2.6 inches bigger. This can mean more attacks of volleys against a target enemy regiment, however in the case of melee engagements, it might jail your reinforcing regiments behind the bulk. A secondary weakness is that bulk regiments can suffer from becoming broken and, in the worst case, shatter. But they are powerful when used right. Bulked light, and especially medium, regiments become a more determined staying force called an anvil. Good anvils can be relied on to hold so that the friendly flanking force or ranged artillery can focus down and defeat the enemy regiment. A bulk heavy is sometimes called a spearhead. Spearheads are meant to have the strength and constitution to challenge any and all regiments. They cover a path through where the enemy is most concentrated, or towards key objectives like the objective zone or the enemy warlord. Three key takeaways. One, rely more on MSUs. Two, five stances and optimized bulk. Three, rangers can be at four stands. 